today I show you how to change the icons of apps on your iPhone. On the home screen, you can have an app with a different screen and I will show you now. On the home screen of your iPhone, you can have an app that looks different. For example, I want to show you here, this is the Black Magic Camera app and that's the icon for this app and I will open the app so you can see how it looks like. That's the Black Magic Camera app here and in landscape mode, it's the another version of the camera app and this is the camera app for the iPhone, the simple one. You can use shortcuts to create a shortcut for the app which is going to look different however you like but it's going to start the same app and I will show you right now. So open the shortcuts and here under shortcuts you can tap on the plus to create a new shortcut. So I have new shortcut one and then I choose open app on this screen here I have to choose the app, so I will choose the Blackmagic Camera app, for example, it's just an example, you could choose any app. And now that I selected the app, all I have to do is press the Share option, and I choose Add to Home screen. Here on the Home screen I have the option to choose an icon for the app. This is the part where you customize the way the app looks like. You can change the icon by using a file, a symbol, so you can choose one of the photos you have on your iPhone. You can choose one of the photos you have on the iPhone or even take a picture or a file that you already have saved on you try this one. Okay. So the app will look like that. It's just a test. Let's try now. Add. Okay. So this is the app here. You see that's the app and it's going to open the Blackmagic camera app. So the icon is changed and I could add this in the home screen next to the Blackmagic camera app in the same folder. I could have them in the same folder like that. But I actually want to put the Resolve, the DaVinci Resolve logo because I like that more. So I went to the Blackmagic design website and they have for media, they have the logo. I could download the file and I'm downloading. Okay, so now this is the logo. It's very, very, it's very high quality. Maybe I don't need so much high quality. Okay. So the file looks okay and I could now I could add another shortcut. I have the file, so I will open an app. This is the shortcut I did before and I could change it. So the camera, I have the Blackmagic camera up. I could say add to home screen and I could change it now to use a file. So I will use the DaVinci Resolve file. And now it still has this a little bit of the black edges there, but it's okay. Tap add. And now look, this is the camera up. I think it looks much better now. Okay, with those edges a little bit not so great. So I have now two shortcuts for the Blackmagic camera up. This is one. It's the same up. It opens the same up. These are just shortcuts and I can remove this one so I can delete the bookmark like that and I could also remove this one just to show you or I will keep it for, for a while I'll keep it like this this is how you change the icons for your apps and this app the original app I could actually remove it from the home screen I could remove this app from the home screen and then the only version of this Blackmagic camera app is gonna be that one and actually I should change the name there so instead of open up, so I should change the name of this to call it instead of open up, I could give it camera B M D black magic design camera. Okay. So now this is the name of the shortcut and I could share it again out to home screen. I could choose the file. I could choose the file and I add it. Now it's going to look 
camera BMD, so that's a nicer way of looking at it. And I can remove the previous version of this shortcut. These are just shortcuts. They are simply shortcuts. So Blackmagic Camera, Camera BMD, it's the same thing, it opens the same thing. I hope this helps you customize the shortcuts on your iPhone. You can have any icons, you could have even, you can even use the, you can even use symbols. So you can have colors, you can have these, all these symbols. You can use any of these things to customize the icon. You can use any of those things to customize the icon of your app. So you have on your home screen some customized apps. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you.